Welcome back to WNEP's Power to Save. I'm Don Jacobs here at the Everhart Museum, and I'm checking out the walls here, and the walls are covered with old time tools of the trade. Now, as things change in society, so do the tools we use. Jackie Lewandowski traveled to Susquehanna County to meet up with some school students to learn some of the modern day tools of the trade. The fifth and sixth graders here at Elk Lake School District are very busy being scientists for the day. Let's join them and see what they're learning. Station six, the heat thing. The heat. And what did you have to do with that? Uh, you would put your hands on it and you would see and you would see the colors change due to the heat of your hands. Mine's all blue so they're warm. So they're super warm. I think that the lab is fun. What did you learn? Yeah. I learned a lot of things like about oil and gas. The students are participating in a mobile energy lab brought to school districts in northeastern Pennsylvania by Cabot Oil and Gas Corporation, Williams and Southwestern Energy. This unit is stationed in Texas and without their involvement bringing this to Susquehanna County and particularly our school district, there's no way we could have afforded to, to bring this unit here and be able to provide this type of a learning experience for our students. And what we're impressed with this is the idea that something that has not been here in Northeast Pennsylvania gets to come up here to these students. We're not going to Pittsburgh. We're not going to Philadelphia. We're coming to this area because we noticed and we understand that here is the center of the energy industry and we need to allow for students here to get that first hands-on learning. Junior Achievement has partnered with Cabot Oil and Gas now for approximately five years through various programs and offerings at local school districts, helping kids understand the need for careers, work readiness, to develop entrepreneurial thinking skills. The focus of the lab is to expose students to STEM-related concepts, STEM being science, technology, engineering, and math, which are oftentimes concepts that fifth and sixth graders would shy away from. But with these units and the hands-on nature of the activities, it makes STEM learning more fun. We see ourselves being here for many years. So whatever we can do to make an investment today in education, understanding that the payoff will be many years forward, that is a mission critical for us. The students have responded in an incredibly positive way. It is 100% engagement. It consists of six different stations, and each station has four activities on it. So students in fifth and sixth grade will rotate through each of the 24 stations, and they'll spend a couple of minutes at each one. Each station has hands-on activities to engage the students. And each student pair will get what we call a pass. And in that pass, there are related activities and details about each one of the 24 activities. So the students can take notes of their observations. They can discover things throughout the activities that they then record in their pass. It's very fun. You get to work with a partner and you get to learn different things that you didn't know. I'm pretty sure it was about the flow of the liquid going faster and slower through the um, balls that were inside the tank. I've actually been able to work with some of them, and from their perspective, this is amazing. They said, this is a, a great opportunity to learn, not only from the, the energy side, um, but also a variety of other science, math, English language arts skills that they wouldn't normally get in a typical classroom. The Energy Lab is not only a learning tool, but perhaps can inspire children to think of future careers. This unit coming to the area enables us to then further that and expand that program offering to include more of a focus on those science-related activities, the engineering, in the hopes that students will then look at careers in those areas that maybe they weren't considering before. We talk a lot about in our industry infrastructure, equipment, pipelines, but what we also know we need is intellectual infrastructure. And when we get the fifth and sixth graders in, they get that opportunity hands-on to learn about energy, robotics, mathematics. I mean, you know, the whole notion of STEM is covered in this center. The children participating in the unit are excited 
and they are seeing something for the first time that's brand new. But coupling that excitement with the educational component of it, you can see how they're learning, but they don't even realize that they're learning. So the effectiveness of a program like this for the students, again, is to help them look at concepts and skills in a new way. So often students that are in fifth and sixth grade, they think of science and they think of engineering and math and oftentimes they think, oh, that's not an area that I would want to be involved in or that's too difficult for me. But when you put them in a space and you let them experience those skills in a manner in which it's meaningful to them at their age, that's when the connections are made for the students. Thanks to Cabot, students throughout Northeastern Pennsylvania will experience the energy of this lab. When it's all said and done, in the 18 different school districts, we plan to have this lab in about 3,000 students classrooms. Jackie, what you can see is the excitement on these students' faces makes it all worthwhile. That's why we wanted to bring the Mobile Energy Lab to Northeast Pennsylvania. And back here at the Everhart Museum, it's hard not to look at something like this and think, boy, they use the modern tools that they had. Maybe that was just a, a sharp rock or, or even fire to build this dugout canoe. How cool is this? In fact, we're gonna take a short break, but when we come back, we're gonna have much more about the Everhart Museum. So please stay with us. <laughs>